secretive about it. She's just sitting there. Right. <clears throat> well, not even sitting. She's standing, like, straight, essentially holding her bag. Or one mm -hmm. of her bags. Is, is, is she wearing a sundress and a sun hat, too? That is, it like, blowing the wind? Space sundress. <laughs> Space sundress. Um, call it a sundress. <laughs> a solar dress. Uh, she isn't, but if, uh, you know, when, like, how in the movies, like, when you look at someone, you get a squint at them, it does, like, the, like, imagination, like, overshadow thing, where it shows, like, what they could be looking like in the most, like, ideal scenario, you know, like a, like a mirage, almost. Yeah. It's, it's the, it's the solar dress. <laughs> wow. Yeah. It's just, that's her siren aura that's exuding right now. That's her siren so, aura? So so a solar dress in a wheat field. She's oh. really got that vibe going. She's about to be the dead fridged wife, is what she is. No, don't fridge the wife. This is so sad. Siri played his Despacito. Right, but Neil probably. Oh, actually. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold on a second. I might still have this. Hold on. <laughs> Alexa? No. Ribs is here. Oh my god! Ribs, you punk ass. God. <laughs> oh, sorry. I said to bring that back up. No, thank you. <laughs> so, yeah. What's up? I was just going to visit hi. me. Yeah, he'll probably stop by while you're waiting for your train. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, and just a bit of do. Which. General wishing of luck, but he, he wouldn't have a lot of words, I don't think. It's okay. You got a cigarette? I, I do. Reach sure. by. <sighs> Looks up towards the security camera. Oh, be jammed. <laughs> Light it and pass it over to her. Mm -hmm. Hang on, I can share a cigarette. <laughs> He would probably, you know, uh, while waiting, he will say it was unpleasant, wasn't it? Mm, you mean the experience as a whole, or? I suppose, unless there were alternative experiences. Mm. Even the alternatives had negative connotations. I wouldn't be surprised. Mm. It wasn't terribly bad. The one who brought me aboard, or wanted me to come aboard, her name's Horton. Kind of an interesting guy. I mean, terrifying, of course, but, uh... You know, interesting philosophy. What is that, then? If I uh, may inquire. And the, everything in the known universe is just domination or submission. Uh, Either dominate or be dominated, that sort of thing. <laughs> I gave some rousing arguments to the point where even he, the as uh, stubborn and 
one track minded, I guess. Oh, no, I won't say he's one track minded. But, I mean, we know what they're capable of and what to assume of people with their capabilities. But despite that, I was able to talk him down into a quote unquote, we'll have to agree to disagree, which, as we both understand in the scientific and medical community, means I won. <laughs> Yes, of course. The one who is willing to let that statement slide has already given up. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Not all bad. <laughs> I certainly at least have at least one person that's going to look out for me. Much better than none. Much better. Well... He's pacifist, you know. What? <laughs> He's a pacifist. Wharton. Yeah. Well, With that philosophy. Mm-hmm. I know, right? I'm probably going to ask him some more questions if I get the chance, because I need to figure out how he consolidates those two viewpoints of, uh, or I guess three viewpoints of what he accepts of himself and what he does and the fact that he's a pacifist. I mean, he's not like literally a pacifist, right? But he's more passive than every other one that I've seen so far. A pacifist by comparison. Yeah. Would that make him a pacifist, or would that just make him reasonable? She takes a long drag from that cigarette. <laughs> like, <laughs> too long. She stares straight ahead. Before handing it back. Breathing out. <laughs> I've got three dice and I'm rolling them. Give me a second. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> That's okay. Breathes out. That's the smoke dance on the air and her lips a little bit. Mm -hmm. Tries to do the thing where it's like, ooh, I can make little shapes, but she can't. She can't make any shapes. She can't make any shapes. <laughs> <laughs> she tries. She tries. Just a little bit. <laughs> um, before then saying, uh, I don't think any of them are even relatively close. Really. Not even him. Hmm. It's interesting to see that there's differences. One could chalk it up to culture, but even I'd call that a stretch. Mm. Think you can change their minds? <laughs> All of them? I doubt it. I can maybe give them something to consider, though. Maybe. One or two. Well, I'm not exactly going as a missionary. No. You're not. He holds out uh, two fingers to... Swap the cigarette and take it back from her. <laughs> mm hmm Take cigarette. Smokes. Looks at her. Does blow a smoke circle. Swell <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> smile. Takes another drag and passes it back. She's gonna keep trying this now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if we can convince Melvin Hawk into stay put in your absence. It's okay if you guys need to go. Moving forward isn't going to do us any favors. If we could just, if it's possible to abandon this. job at all, it'd be 
ideal. We've already taken Harkin's money. That we have. And not in a way you can reasonably get back. She has, like, gesturing to the ship. And all the upgrades we got. We can at least do the first part. Well, I guess you guys can do the first part. I don't know if I'll be back for that. It's playing with fire. The whole thing. Isn't it always? Marshall, I mean, we have been. All these months, we have been. But we got lucky this last time. Well, most of us got lucky. And I don't know if we'll get that twice. Not with how badly Harkin wants to learn and how easily Mendy is following him. Yeah. He's got Mindy hooked. They're far too curious for their own good. It's going to end badly. Should it, it'll be good you're not here for it. Hmm. Also means I can't help you all with it, which I don't know which is worse. Hmm. At least, if this goes well, we won't have to deal with the Morgan tracking us down. It's true. I don't imagine you've spoken with Ram. What hour is Hana coming in here at? I don't know. I can roll. She's out there for what, like four hours? There's three, yeah, three, four hours around there. I'll roll a one two. Yeah, I was gonna roll a one d four, but sure. Because it's either before or after, right? Because Ram comes in at around the okay. halfway point. I'm pretty sure. All right, one before, yep. two after, before. Not yet, then. Mm-hmm. So yeah, she'll say. Not yet. Yeah, He's not well. I'm sure you were able to collect that. Yeah. I know. Hmm. Nods. Why is you staying out here anyway? What do you mean? You're not to leave until 1d4 hours from now, one fucking second. <laughs> Four hours from now. Nice. <laughs> 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 Could have just said, you're not supposed to leave for a little while. No, Bree went no. all the way. <laughs> Full immersion. Got the exact hour. <laughs> Did not stop at nothing to get the truth and to the bottom of what our situation was. <laughs> well, I always hate when good things end. Or when someone's got a leave, say goodbye. So I just know that um, however I spend my last hours doing whatever, I'm just going to be thinking about the fact that I've got to go. So you'd rather cut to the chase? Yeah.
and it makes sense. I'll give you that. <laughs> I'm in the business of trying to make as much sense as possible, Doctor. Most of the time. I suppose most of the time. Depending on your point of view. He looks on ahead and just sighs. And he'll he'll look at you, Ryan. He's just fucking so worried. <laughs> So worried and resigned, and he will say, I return back safely if you can. You know me, I always do my best. Nods. Until then. Yeah. See you later. The... Yeah. Did you... And he just wiggled it's like the, the titty keeps his cigarettes and need another for the road. <laughs> nah. And save them for me when I get back. <laughs> I don't recommend taking up the habit, but I will. I smoked before, you know. You don't strike me as a chain smoker. <laughs> well, there's a lot of things parents don't like. And when you try and do all of them, you end up doing, well, all of them. <laughs> Fox is there that you're a little amused. I'm not surprised that you smoked before. Right. I just don't want you forming an addiction. Me? An addiction? Oh, please. It's nicotine. Happens to everyone. I do understand the nature of addictive substances, Doctor. Yes. (laughs) Smiles. As I assumed, Doctor. But as I was. Goodbye. We will uh, head out. Hey, before you go. Stop. Have you had a talk with Ram already? (laughs) Calling it a talk is... A loose term. Not a lot of words were said. You say anything about helping me on in all this? How he feels? He feels obligated. He doesn't want to, I don't think. But If this fails, it will not end well for the Rossi or its crew. And he will do whatever it takes to protect his family, I suppose. She nods. Yeah, I thought as much. Thanks. Of 
kohas. Mm-hmm. Nod and continue on out. Lena out there. Yay!